Hey everybody, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and here is my review for Annabelle Comes Home. Annabelle Comes Home is directed by Gary Dauberman and stars McKenna Grace, Madison Eisman, Vera Farmiga, and Patrick Wilson. The Warrens have contained the evil doll known as Annabelle, but when they go away on a trip, a teenager unknowingly unleashes Annabelle and the evil spirits. Well, I just got home from watching Annabelle 3. Uh, Annabelle comes home and legit freaked out. Uh, this is a very fun summer horror movie. And this has a lot of the elements that I enjoy, that I, I, I kind of look for when I am watching a horror movie. Those moments where you're tense, like if you're wearing a hoodie, you kind of want to like put it over your head and you want to, you kind of like want to do this with, with your hands and you want to hide, or you kind of want to like make jokes and, and kind of talk so you can lessen the tension. That is the word I'm looking for, tension. This movie definitely made me feel tense at every turn, on every shot. There are a lot of good scares in this movie. There are some jump scares that are predictable, and I think, you know, once you've seen enough horror movies, you can kind of call them, call them as it is, so you can see them coming. But in this movie, and this is what I like so much about, like, the Conjuring franchise and, and, and all the films that are related to it, is they get pretty creative with their uh, jump scares. So when you think it's coming, it actually doesn't and that's when you're caught off guard and that's when they get ya because within the first couple of minutes something happened and I gasped out loud and it wasn't even really that scary and I was like you idiot Wendy um but this was a lot of fun um it is the third installment in the Annabelle story I didn't actually see the first Annabelle but I did see Annabelle creation which I liked a lot and uh this one which is the follow-up um and I like this a lot too the scares were great. I like the story um, and I like that what they explained up top basically is that Annabelle is basically a conduit for all the evil spirits and so she is so evil or the spirit that is inside Annabelle should I say um, it kind of like opens the floodgate for all the other evil spirits and they kind of manifest and you and you see that in the first few minutes of the movie which kind of sets the tone for everything else. Basically the doll is bad like leave it in its little case don't let it out don't touch it don't even look at it <laughs> but um that's what the warrens have in their home in their basement it's where they lock all of these um evil items and you'll see little easter eggs of like from previous conjuring films if you're a fan of all the conjuring films so i really had fun in this movie i really liked the first half i actually liked the first half more because that's when the scares were fresh they were good they were great the story made sense the second half i just felt like they were somehow rushing to get somewhere and then little things not a lot okay not a lot but there are little things that they start kind of doing it just like they didn't really sh the, the payoff wasn't great it's just like things happen out of convenience and I don't really love that in scary movies um because I feel like there should be a reason for it you know what I mean it's it's it it just lessens the tension like you were building all this tension and then this things happens out of convenience you're like oh that's that's it you're gonna make it easy for the characters um I also didn't love that the Warrens weren't really exactly in this movie, but I get it. This is in this isn't exactly like Conjuring. It's not like the Conjuring Annabelle comes home. It's Annabelle comes home. Unless I'm wrong, you can say that in the comments section. But so the Warrens are in it. Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson are in it, but they're not in it as much as I would like. It is really more focused on the Warrens' uh, daughter Judy, um, her friend slash babysitter, uh, and the babysitter's friend uh, Daniela. So. The three of them, I actually enjoy watching together a lot. And they, all three of them have a lot of their own shining moments. Um, no one really stole from anyone. So I, I enjoyed watching the th these three actresses um, come together and be in this movie and also have their own individual solo experiences with all the horror stuff. I, I, I really did enjoy that. Um, another thing was, is this movie is called Annabelle Comes Home. Uh, Annabelle... How do I say this without like spoiling it? Annabelle is in it, but Annabelle also doesn't do a lot of things. Um, and I guess it goes back to the message they were trying to really give you towards the beginning of the movie is that Annabelle is a conduit for all the evil spirits and they kind of use that to carry through the film. So while Annabelle's presence is there, it it is less in comparison to other... Uh, evil entities that are in this movie which is another thing I really do like about Conjuring like we we can say like the 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 second Conjuring movie 
for you can use that as an example because it wasn't just uh, like we had the nun, we had the crooked man, and, and things like that. So it was it's kind of like that, and all of it does make sense once you take a step back and think about it. But I kind of walked in this movie wanting to see Annabelle do the creepy doll thing, like her head kind of you know like turns like this and things like that. But it was really more of like her evil energy and opening the floodgate for all the other evil spirits but either way this is a very fun uh summer horror movie i definitely had a problem sitting still uh in this movie uh, and i love horror i'm not saying i don't get scared i do get scared but um i enjoy it but even this one there were moments where could i find myself like wanting to kind of like i don't know distract myself with something like get up and take a walk. I didn't do that. I stayed in my seat, but you, you know what I mean to kind of lessen the tension. So, um, it, it definitely delivered its intention, which was to scare the bejesus out of you, which it did. Um, and if it seemed like the whole theater enjoyed it very much. So my rating for this movie is check it out. I think you guys, it's summer, it's horror, go with your friends, go on a night and just go and watch who in your group is going to be the most scared because that's kind of also what's most fun about these movies. And you're going to want to talk about it. You'll think about it. You probably don't want any dolls let, that looks like Annabelle in your house, you know, and that's it. But you guys, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on social media at Wendy Lee Zaney. That's on Twitter and on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.